How's it going guys? This is Don from Pronatech. Today's video I'm going to show you my new design for a high performance foam wand for using with your foam generator. This one, uh, it took me a few tries to get it right. I built about, I think four of them to uh, work with the new foam generator. I thought what I needed to do was build a much bigger diameter and I went up to two inch and I tried a few different designs and they just didn't work. They built up too much pressure internal. So I bumped it down so it's an inch and a half diameter uh, PVC, whereas the original one I built for the small foam generator is uh, inch and a quarter. So this one uh, solves a lot of the problems of the higher output. I tried the same design as the small foam generator wand, but it just didn't work. Uh, the single hole output on the front uh, the to get the flow I needed I had to go up to three quarter inch and one inch and the pot scrubbers the stainless pot scrubbers kept wanting to blow out the front so I had to come up with a new design and that's what uh, this one shows so let's get to it I'll show you how I built it it's pretty simple uh, it's not much more complex the nice thing about it is that this is a two-piece design and you can screw on different ends this one I have is just straight that way if you need to shoot it down into a cement truck and dose an entire batch of Portland cement, you can. Uh, I also am going to build one with a 90 on it so that, you know, for make it easier to flow into, say, a 55 gallon drum or a large uh, cement mixture. So that's, uh, that's the new design. I'll go through how to build it and I'll show you guys uh, how it works. All right. All right. Now I'm going to show you uh, the parts that you need to build the, what I call the more advanced, higher performance foam wand. Uh, in this part, I'm going to show you all the parts you're going to need. You can get these at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, or just about any hardware store uh, that has PVC supplies. And basically all it is is I have an 11 inch piece of inch and a half PVC, a nine and a half inch piece of inch and a half. I have two couplers, uh, one three quarter inch pipe thread on one end adapter to regular garden hose uh, fitting on the other side. That's going to go in uh, the plug cap here that's going to go in the end and that's all this is is inch and a half reduced to three quarter pipe threaded uh, reducer. So and that's going to go in one of the uh, couplers on the end cap. The other one is going to join these two sections together. Right here I have an inch and a half uh, threaded cap that's going to go on the end of one of the sections and then I have an inch and a half female to inch and a half uh, adapter so you can thread on and off. And what this does is going to create an expansion chamber so that the shorter one is going to have the uh, stainless steel wool or stainless pot scrubbers in it. And, and then the other one is just going to be an expansion chamber for the foam after it gets through here to expand back out and come out and to slow down the velocity. Uh, one of the drawbacks of my other one, uh, I had to get the back pressure I needed, it had a small hole and I had really high velocity foam coming out the front, which it worked great. And I have no problems with it, but this is a much bigger and a much higher volume. So the amount of um, foam I have coming out the front, even out of a three quarter inch hole, is, is still very high velocity and it's, it's shooting like 10, 12 feet. So what I want to do is reduce that down so it comes out slower and is more easily applied into a cement mixer or a uh, cement truck if you wanted to dose you know an entire truckload if you're doing a big batch of aircrete. So basically those are the parts. The only thing that you can't buy at the store is I did make a little baffle and what this is is just a uh, small piece of curved inch and a half inch pipe. I took a piece of this pipe sliced off a section and then cut out uh, a little square of it and then I put relief cuts on all four corners. I then rounded it 
um, with my sander so that it is a tight fit into the end of the pipe so that this is going to be my baffle so that as the foam comes down through the stainless pot scrubbers this will stop the flow and force it out through four holes instead of just roaring out through uh, the end and creating a really high velocity stream. This should slow it down and then as it goes through it's going to come out again into the larger pipe and expand before it comes out. I'm probably going to put a 90 degree right here just to make it easier for putting in um, uh, mixers or cement trucks, things like that. Sometimes it's harder when it's just straight like that. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's the plan. All this is, it was really simple to build, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna PVC cement this in the end and then put this cap over it so that everything's kind of held in place. And uh, it'll be all cemented together so that what happens a lot of times is that the stainless steel pot scrubbers want to push out through the hole and it can kind of constrict it and make it even higher velocity. So that's what this is going to solve uh, is that major uh, drawback to my other design. Anyway, I'm going to put this together now and uh, I'll show you how it performs. You can see I have the baffle. I've put it up in there about three quarters of an inch. Uh, that way I'm going to, I have some little pieces of PVC that I've cut out, some little sticks and everywhere there's a corner I'm going to put a support to try and hold it up in there and then once I have them all glued in I'm going to cut them off flush that way my cap will fit up in there and support it. All right, the little supports that are on the bottom here, I'm gonna go cut them off so that it's flush, and then I'll be able to put my threaded uh, cap over the end, and that'll help hold everything in place. I really want these flush so that everything's supporting that baffle that's up inside. So now that the glue's dried, uh, the little tabs that were sticking out, the support tabs, I've cut them off flush uh, with the end of the uh, inch and a half pipe. Uh, this has the stainless scrubbies in it uh, to diffuse the foam and water and uh, help produce the foam. Uh, I'll let you see down in there. Hopefully you can get a pretty good view down in there. So each corner basically is just a support for that uh, diffuser that I put in to block the uh, stainless scrubbies from coming out through the end. So now what I'm going to do is uh, glue the cap on, the threaded cap that is, 
this one, and that will hold everything in place. All right, now we have our foam wand all built, and we now have an extension that we can just screw on as an expansion chamber. And that's pretty much it. This end we have a hookup for our hose, and it's basically ready to go. All right, now let's go out and make some foam. All right. So now I've got it outside, I've got it hooked up to my new foam generator, and I'm going to see how the new foam wand performs. I've got a 55 gallon drum with the top cut off, and I've, as you can see in the background, I've already balanced it uh, for flow, and now I'm just seeing what kind of uh, performance it has filling up a 55 gallon drum. I usually do this to check uh, dosing time before I make a big batch. This helps me to get an idea how long it uh, takes to fill up a 55 gallon drum and a 55 gallon drum is like 7.35 cubic feet. That gives me an idea how much uh, foam I can uh, output in a certain amount of time. When I tested it with this uh, it took about a minute and 45 seconds to uh, fill the uh, 55 gallon drum so uh, this performs amazing uh, it's putting out really high quality shaving cream like foam that uh, fills up fast all right you can see it's uh, it's doing a great job piling up nicely holding its shape uh, this is putting out great foam this uh, this is this final design is a uh, is a really good one All right, guys, so that's how you build the newer high-performing uh, foam wand to go with your new foam generator. If uh, you guys have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. I'll get to them uh, pretty quick. I'm usually pretty fast about uh, replying. If you have any comments, uh, I'd love to hear them. And if you have any other designs that you think work better, I'd love to hear it as well. Uh, I've been experimenting with air creep for a couple of years now, and uh, I'm always open to any uh, suggestions, or if someone comes up with a better idea, I'm all for it. So let me know. That's one of the cool things about the Air Creek community is everybody pretty much shares uh, all the things that they've found. So, uh, so yeah, let me know, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.